Hello everybody, this is Gyrix, and I'm here with the return of the Four Job Fiesta. That's right, this is the 2017 Final Fantasy V Four Job Fiesta charity run. And I had an absolute blast doing this last year. I'm only slightly exaggerating when I say I have been looking forward to this for the whole year. I pretty much, since the last one ended, been hyped about the next one, and here we are. Uh, you may notice this is, in fact, Final Fantasy V Advance for the Game Boy Advance. I do actually possess the PC version on Steam. However, every attempt I made to record it was, uh, let's just say cataclysmic. <laughs> the lag was unspeakable. It just, it was unwatchable. I mean, this... This is unwatchability that makes my Metroid, uh, another Metroid 2 remake run look like fucking high Hollywood level production value, you know? Now, last year, I just kind of jumped into this at the very last second. I mean, I think I had maybe three or four days before sign up, or before the game started that I signed up, or maybe I started in the midst of it, I don't remember which. But, uh,. I went on and on, like, oh, this is for charity, etc. And it is. It is for charity. But I didn't know anything about the charity. Well, in the months leading up to this, I did a little digging. And by a little digging, I mean... Oh, Space Tater. Uh, by did a little digging, I mean I looked at their website. Child's Play is a charity that, uh, when this is partly also from Wikipedia, established by gamers, specifically, I think it's the group at uh, Penny Arcade, and I've heard them catch a lot of crap, but I don't particularly care. I don't, I don't really do Penny Arcade. Don't really care, you know, I mean, I got nothing against them, but I'm not fans either. I'm, I think they're a webcomic. I've seen a couple of things. I've had friends really into them, but, uh, I'm not one of them, you know. I think they have a webcomic, and I'm pretty sure I've been amused by it, but not enough to follow it, you know what I mean? But anyway, I'm off topic here. Apparently, this was established because people are like, oh, video games only promote violence, etc. And what it does is it provides games and toys and all sorts of stuff for children in hospitals and domestic abuse shelters. And, quite frankly, if that's not worth raising money for, what the hell is, you know? Macho King Randy Savage! He looks more like it in the uh, PC version, but that's totally Macho Man. Anyway, um... Uh, as I stated, uh, this is... Uh, I've done the research on it. This is a good organization to donate to. Gonna do a little something different this year, which is I'm actively calling for comments, which I usually do, but for a specific reason. If you donated, uh, whether you donated because of my video or just to donate, leave a comment. If you watch this video and you've donated money, leave a comment saying, hey, uh, I donated, you know, today, etc., here's how much, and if, uh, if my video somehow brought attention to it just hey thanks to your video i donated six dollars i donated twenty dollars i donated a dollar etc you know just there's nothing in it for me except knowing that hey this is actually accomplishing something you know uh i think they've already met the quota for the year not the year but i mean for the event and when i say quota i don't mean Quota is the wrong word. Quota implies that it's one and done. They've met the goal, but when you're talking charity, a goal is not so much a goal as it is a suggestion. Like, hey, we'd like to hit forty thousand dollars, and then they finish with one hundred and thirty thousand. You know, when we're talking charity, going over the goal is always good. So even if they've hit the goal, fucking pour that money in. Now. I thought I was going to be doing this quote-unquote alone this year, which is to say that uh, my friend Eisen uh, did one as well last year, and I linked to his videos, and I will be doing so here, or at least I'll be linking to his channel. Um, 
But due to some issues with his grandmother that I'm not going to get into because it's not my right to say this. You know, I mean, he's talked to me about it. I don't think he cares. But I don't exactly have permission to talk about it. Hey, Aizen, if you're watching this and you want people to know, leave it in the comments, you know. But due to some personal issues involving family, he is going to have to supposedly leave where he's living now to go help with family for an undetermined point amount of time. And his internet is sucky to non-existent there, or at least that's his fear. And he might not be able to do much of anything with his channel. However, I looked on the 4Job Fiesta website, and his name is in there, so he is doing a run. Whether he's televising it or not, I can't say, because I'm not him. But uh, if he is doing a run, go over there, show him some support, you know. Uh, and if he's not doing a run, go to his channel and show him some support. Let him know that just because he's not making videos for a while doesn't mean we've forgotten about him. Okay, now... Full disclosure, this starts on June 19th, 2017. That is when this is airing. However, that is not when it's being recorded. It's being recorded about 3.30 in the morning, June 15th. Because when this hits, I want to just, you know, put it on there and just, hey, the day of, boom, here's a video before I have to do any recording stuff. Uh, at the time of this recording... Oh, oh dear. Okay, good. About to say, my controls are not responding at all. At the time of this recording, uh, since it hasn't officially launched, I don't know what my crystals are yet. Any of my crystals. Uh, similar, but not completely similar to last year, I am doing a natural run. Which is to say, Bart's gets the wind crystal. I don't care if it says Lena. Reyna gets the uh, water crystal. Ferris gets the fire crystal. Gallop gets the earth crystal. However, no chaos this year, because fuck having two Dragoons, a Berserker, and a Time Mage. I want a chance at some actual classes that I can use, so it's just going to be raw natural in that regard. Uh, they added a new feature this year, which I'm hoping to use. Uh, it didn't let me put it in with my natural run, but we'll see. I, I think I can add it in later. Called a fifth job, where basically when Galuf dies, spoilers... And his granddaughter takes over, she gets her own jobs from that crystal. So if he is, say, a dragoon, she won't be a dragoon. She'll be a chemist, or a dancer, or a samurai, you know. But uh, that's a thing that I will try to do. But yeah, this is, uh, this is me basically taking a break from recording Suikoden 2, which is what I've been working on for the past week and a half, uh, so that I can get this knocked out so that the day of the 4Job Fiesta starting, okay, I do have control, so that when the 4Job Fiesta starts, you're guaranteed a video, and then I just plow through this shit, you know? I don't want to have the schedule slip that I had last year, and it wasn't my fault. Schedule slip was for two very good reasons. A, I got a cold and my throat went to hell, you know? You know how it is when you get a... a decent to nasty cold and your voice just goes that's what happened to me also around the time i was recovering uh the roommate started moving me from the room i was in to back to my room because i've been put in another room with the pets because of the flea situation but uh that and a couple other things basically made me procrastinate until the last minute to the point where I finished the game with, like, a day or two left on the clock. You know? This time, I fully intend to get this thing knocked out by August, if not July. I want to have this done in June. Granted, that only leaves me 11 days, but I've done this before, and I think I can do it again. Uh, likewise, I have glanced over my comments from last year about some important tips... And I will be doing my best to make use of those tips. Unfortunately, a lot of the info I had was from Aizen in some Skype chats, so I'm going to have to dig through my records there, too. But uh, this is the only super pre-recorded. Obviously, it's all pre-recorded in that I upload it in advance, you know? Like, it doesn't go up the day it's recorded. 
like, for example, let's say when the 19th hits, I might go through eight episodes. You're not going to get eight episodes that day. I'll just upload them for the next eight days, you know? But this is more pre-recorded than before in that it's recorded before the project actually begins. And hopefully I won't get yelled at for that, but I don't foresee them getting mad simply because I'm getting the wind shrine out of the way. I'm getting to my first crystal and then immediately saving the game. Now, the Four Job Fiesta, I went over this a little bit last year, but <clears throat> I like it because it allows me to beat this game with focus. What do I mean by focus? When you give me a game like this, with jobs or just skills that can be leveled independently, I will do so at the expense of everything. Like, uh... When I, get, when I get my capture card and can do Bravely Default, as soon as I get a job, I'm going to off-screen max that job out. And the beautiful thing about Bravely Default is I can turn off money and XP gains so that I can max that out without being atrociously overleveled. But that's a thing I do. Like, uh... And especially when you have multiple characters that can all have the same job, what I'll do is like, okay, we're all black mages for the next three levels. Because I want to keep them on the same growth scale, you know? Likewise, there's uh, a Lord of the Rings, like the Third Age, I think it's called, where you have these generic Fellowship characters. It's the Fellowship, but they're, they're the fucking bargain basement Fellowship. They're, they're the Lord of the Rings action figures you buy at the dollar store, like, oh, this isn't, this isn't Aragorn, but he's from Gondor, you know? And in that, it's like, oh, I use this ability once and I gain XP for it. Well, I've never beaten the game because I spend too much time grinding out my abilities so that when the time comes, I have them, you know? The Four Job Fiesta says, no, Bart's is this class, Ferris is this class, and there's no superfluous grinding. You know, I'm not trying to get, oh well, here's, I'm gonna get four of every item and four of every armor and all that, four of every weapon, four of every armor. No, because everyone can't use everything. I mean, I'll do that at the start, but by the time I get the final jobs, I'm just gonna have what I need, you know? So I'm not gonna be grinding a small fortune to get, like, all the different kinds of armor and every single type of spell and all the weapons, and all the other shit that slows me down. Likewise, I'm not going to be trying to grind out a jobs for everyone. I was tempted to do a natural, or not a natural, but just a normal run where, uh, you know, I get the Wind Crystal job, and everyone, like, oh, I have Knight, let me just max out everyone with Knight. And then I realize it's just the same problem on a smaller scale. I will grind until everyone has Knight starred. Then I'll get, say... Oh, I don't know, Red Mage. And so I'll max everyone out at Red Mage, and that'll take forever. You know what I'm saying? And it's just... It doesn't really fix the problem that I have, whereas this does. This says, no, just put this on Bart's and he's done. Put this on Raina and she's done. Ferris and done. Gallop and done. You know, they're all just... done. And it allows me to streamline the game to a ferocious extent. And don't get me wrong... I could do that myself, just say, oh, I'm going to do this. But that would require willpower that I don't feel like using. You know? I have the willpower, but why waste it on this? But, yes, I have been so excited, so incredibly hyped about the Four Job Fiesta. Because I always am. You know? It's, it's an exciting thing for me. It's something... It's, it's fun, for one thing. It gives me a lot of programming, even though it's not typical scheduled programming. It's all extra. It's all fluff. So it gives, gives my viewers something else to watch if none of my current crop of games are to their liking. And it's for charity. And while I'm not convinced that I am responsible for a lot of people donating... Just the, if I have one person donate one dollar, I've contributed. I haven't been contributed a lot, but, you know, everything counts. 
Sadly, at the time of this particular recording, I'm not currently employed, so my money is tight. Otherwise, I would be making donations myself. And uh, last year, actually, Eisen made an offer to me that if my current job prop just sucked all of the ass and made the game unbeatable, he would make a donation on my behalf to change one of my classes. And I'm like, no, let me try and stick this one out. The other reason that I went just raw natural in this is I'm hoping it'll give me a good mix of classes. And it will give me a chance to completely dodge Berserker. Because I'm not doing Berserker Risk, because I don't hate myself enough to do Berserker Risk. But uh, that means that only the Water Crystal can give me Berserker, as opposed to... Uh, in my last run in Chaos, where Gallop got Berserker as the Earth Crystal. But it also means that I'm almost guaranteed a Wizard class, because I've got three shots at a Wizard in the, uh, the Wind Crystal. I'm not gonna lie, I'm kinda hoping for Blue Mage. Blue Mage is kinda potent. I have... I wanna say... two and a half shots at Wizard classes for, uh... the Water Crystal. I've got the Red Mage, obviously. I've got the Summoner. And I have the Sorcerer, or the Magic Knight. Which is, I'm considering that half. In that it lets me use all black, or most black, and some white spells. So it's another reason to get spells. Um, not a lot for the, uh, the Fire Crystal. There, there's stuff that's similar, like Geomancer and so on, and Bard. But no, no real spell casters per se, I want to say. Hold on. Get my controls. Uh, yeah. Oh, and of course, Time Mage. I don't think I counted Time Mage for the Water Crystal, which is... So yeah, there's four, three and a half, so... I can't believe I missed Time Mage. That was the one I had. And there's no real spellcasters per se for the Earth Crystal. Chemist, kind of, but not really, you know? But uh, Summoner... Summoner would be a big thing. Let's see. What would I want for the classes? Uh, Wind Crystal... Blue Mage I kind of like because the Blue Magic, if you get it, and if you have a Blue Mage, you will get them. But Blue Magic gives me a lot of really, really powerful spells to play with. I mean, downright broken spells, if I could just make them happen. Uh, let's see, uh, Monk would be fun, because Monk saves on uh, equipment, and it's really powerful. Thief would give me... Not a lot. I mean, I'm not against it, but I can use a Thief Knife and get the same effect. Knight, not really looking forward to. Either of the Wizards, that is, Black and White, would be useful, obviously. Uh, Water Crystal, Time Mage, I could do... I did some cool stuff with Time Mage. I wouldn't be opposed to having it again, as long as it's not my sole magic user class. The game was not meant to be carried on the back of a time mage. That's all I'm saying. But, uh, yeah, that's... Time mage. Summoner. Summoner would absolutely make this for me. Because those summons... Those summons fucked X death up last time. Uh, Berserker, no. No Berserker. No Berserker. Pain in my ass. There's every chance... Well, no, I'm not going to say it, but, um, what else was, uh, what else was in the Water Crystal? I don't remember, um, I'm going to sip and dig out my strategy guide because it has them all listed. There we go. Near. Oh, that's just the front page. Actually, no, that's Final Fantasy VI. Just advance in the text there, don't don't mind me. Not even paying attention yet. That's fine. That's hard to smooth. That's a wrestling book. What's that doing in there? Um, in, 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 in. Ah, there we go. Found it. Ah! Fucking yeah, man. Got it. Also this. Oh, those are those are hero books. Okay. 
Let's see, Water Crystal, uh, Sorcerer. Sorcerer is nice. Uh, probably Red Mage, Summoner, or Time Mage would be my pick, though. Fire Ship. Oh, there's, there's a couple good ones. Uh, Bard would be good. Hunter would be good. Uh, Geomancer would be useful, but not necessarily good. Trainer... Trainer allows me to do some fun stuff. Ninja's good. Uh, Earth Crystal. Anything but Chemist, really, for Earth Crystal. I mean, I wouldn't be opposed to having a Dragoon again. Just not two of them. Because, just like with Time Mages, the game was not meant to be carried with a Dragoon as your fucking damage dealer. I mean, I know it's possible to get a worse roll than I did last year, but oh god, that was a bad roll. I was made entirely of support characters. Because a Time Mage is not meant to be your magic user. Time Mages are supposed to be something you master and then slap on another class, you know? I don't think this game really intends for anyone to be a Time Mage full-time. It's, let me grind up my Time Magic up until the, the spells I get, and then boom! put time magic on your, your fucking ninja or something. Like, oh, we all have haste now. And dragoons are good, but a dragoon is meant to back up another damage dealer, like a knight or a uh, monk or something like that. It's not meant to be, here's my frontliner. Actually, to be perfectly honest, I think the game was meant to be played with freelancers. It's just you master all your classes, and by the end of the game, everyone's either a mimic or a freelancer. Because then you get all your stat buffs and all your skills and all that shit, and you can you can use every single kind of weapon and armor, and it's just it's just better, it's just flat out better. Okay. By the way, thanks to uh, I think it was uh, one of the YouTubers. I can't remember his name. Is it's some kind of he does stuff for historical movies. He, he I, I don't remember what it was. Was it Cynical Historian? or? But anyway, he, he watches movies in a historical context and says how accurate they are, like uh, The Master and Commander was one that he watched. Give that to Gala. Actually, get one more. Why one? Because we'll find one. But, uh, anyway, Grog. If you're wondering what Grog is, it is... I want to say it's Whiskey? No, not Whiskey. It's, uh, it's some kind of alcohol watered down. It's rum. That's what it is. It's rum. It's rum watered down a bit. One of these. And some of these. Yeah, uh, thank you... I don't remember who you were in the comments last year for telling me about the item shop. I mean, I know I figured it out later, but it's nice to have access to it now. Also, no, we're going to save that. But yeah, I've got a tent and I've got some extra potions, so we're good to go. Equip. Optimize. Skip you. Optimize. Optimize. Why did I skip her? Because she's the weaker of the four. So she's gonna find her broadsword. Actually, let me let me optimize you now, because you'll get Ferris's weapon, I think. Yeah, there we go. Perfect. And again, I'm not actually timing this episode, because this episode's gonna take however long it takes. Until I beat the Wind Shrine. That is the goal of this episode. But yeah, that's what Grog is. Grog is, uh, sailors get a ration of rum, and they add water to it, both to, to water it down so you're not getting drunk off your ass on a fucking boat, which is dangerous enough as it is, especially in an era where not a lot of people really swim, but also to stretch the supply longer, you know? So if you watch a movie like The Master and Commander, and you hear, like, oh, give them an extra ration of rum, or something like that. That means, basically, uh, I think it's like one part rum and four parts water, or something like that. 
If you had an extra ration of rum, they'd put another part of rum in your grog. So it's less watered down, so you get stronger shit. And if I'm getting that wrong, I'm not surprised. You know, I mean, it's... Keep in mind, I'm working off secondhand information here. So. There we go. But yeah, this is this is something I have absolutely been work looking forward to, and I'm real excited just in general about it. I love this game. And it's entirely possible during my uh, recording hiatus, as it were, not not really hiatus, but during my, uh, what do I even call it? It's not a break. Let's call it free play. During my recording free play, because right now, as of the recording of this, the only thing that's on on the docket that needs finished is Sweet Coden 2, but all of 2017's videos of that are recorded. It'll only go to episode 20 or 22 this year, and I'm up to like episode 31. So I have all the Sweet Code Two for the year recorded. So once that's done, all of 2017 is completely inescapably recorded and uploaded, and I'll have about six months of free time because it's only June to record whatever I want, specifically stuff for 2018 and 2019. And it's entirely possible that I will finally dig up my old videos, which I still have somewhere, I'm sure, of my Final Fantasy V Let's Play, the original Kyrix Let's Play, and finally finish the it. And it's not good, I'm going to tell you that right now. It is not what anyone would really consider quality. It's really shitty, in fact, because it was my first one, and it was recorded basically in four different parts, you know, and it was back before I timed my episode, so you could very much expect an episode to run an hour and a half, because I did play until I got bored, you know. And what I mean by recording in three different parts, like, oh, here, let me record this for a while. No, let me record something else. Get back to it six months later. Oh, let me record this. In case you're wondering why I don't just fight the boss, I'm looking for the hidden item. It's in here somewhere, and I don't remember where. But it's my broadsword. Or rather, it's her broadsword. But, uh, yeah, I want to go back and finish that. The other problem, and it's a pretty big problem, is the fact that there's no real urgency in the game because I grinded via the fast-forward button, so I'm about ten levels above where I need to be to beat the game, uh, and I'm not even in the third world yet. I'm still in Gallop's world. I'm still in, like, the second quarter of the game. We haven't hit halftime yet to use a football metaphor. So that should show you just what happened, because I, I mastered every class the instant I got it. It's like, oh, well, we got these classes. Let me turn off the game and do these, or turn off the recording and grind, you know. Maybe it's here. No. Maybe it's upstairs. I know there's one here somewhere. Maybe it's on the map. It probably isn't the map. Give me just a moment to consult the map. Yeah, that's something I could very, very well see myself doing back to you. Oh, I'm not there yet, I don't think. I think it's upstairs from the boss. That would be why I haven't found it yet. Hell, I might not need it if Black Mage is my first job. We'll need it for Blue Mage, though. That's the other reason I kind of like Blue and Red Mages, is they're, uh, armed. They're wizards that can use staffs, but also can use swords. Let's try and take out this fucking Wing Raptor before he had the chance to fold his wings up. Which is entirely possible, just not very likely. I've done it before. 
There we go, perfect. I guess it was very likely then. Yup, here it is. Right idea, wrong place. But yeah, I, I just want to go back and finish that Let's Play for the closure, if nothing else. There it is. Staff. It's supposed to be a broadsword. Oh well. I guess they changed it. Either that or I already picked up the broadsword and wasn't paying attention. Did I pick up the broadsword? I did. Okay, cool. Oh, that's... that's fucked up! She could have had that broadsword during the fight! Alrighty. Oh, that's the wind crystal. There's one thing I'm grateful for about this being on Final Fantasy V Advance and not the PlayStation version or the Steam version. And it has to do with off-screen grinding. Because this is on the Game Boy Advance, I can fast-forward it because it's an emulator. So that's fun. You won't be seeing that, but when I'm doing stuff off-screen, oh boy, will I ever be grinding with it. Uh, that being said, I love the Steam version because just like Final Fantasy IV on the, on the DS, it has an auto-battle feature. It's basically whatever move I did last as the character, they will do exactly so I can just turn loose. And I would love to find a version of Final Fantasy II that does that. I mean, I will buy the shit out of that game if it exists on Steam. And I think it might if it's got Fast Forward. Or not Fast Forward, but... Uh, Auto battle. I love auto battle. In an RPG, auto battle is the best because that's how you grind. You just turn on the TV, barely pay attention, no micromanaging needed. The game knows what to do. Reina! Macho King Randy Savage here! <laughs> I want so badly to say this in the Macho Man voice, but I'm not gonna. Fuck it, I don't do voices that often. <clears throat> listen, listen well. You four are the chosen ones, the warriors of light, bearers of the four cri or bears of the four crystal essences. And that's that's not a great macho man, but fuck it. Ah, I'm, I'm out of it. I'm done. I've already lost the thread. I shouldn't have stopped. Best part is I've I've actually shown this game off on my channel, so fuck spoilers. We we've been here before, we've been down this road, you know how this works. Knight, monk, blue mage, thief, black mage, white mage. One of these four classes will be on Bards next time. But we're not done yet. There's cutscene shit. Because of course there is. Now, I didn't need the potions here, but I will need them in the near future for the Siren fight. Yes, little Chocobo, we know how this, this works. I would not, but thank you. I've done this before. Alright, so that is part one of the Final Fantasy V Four Job Fiesta 2017 Charity Run. Uh, leave a comment down below if you donated this year, especially if you donated, you know, after watching my video. Um, share any anecdotes you had about just watching these videos about Final Fantasy V that you've played. Give me some tips. I'm probably, they'll probably come too late to help me this year, but hey, 2018, I do save this stuff. Um... Uh, as always, uh, Eisen's link will be in the description for his channel. Uh, should he put up a playlist this year, 
I will go back and modify it to add his playlist in, because I do that, and I will see you next time with the first legitimate episode. Bye-bye, everybody.